welcome back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire Nero model. The exact model for this one is an AV15-52-77NH and that information can be found on the bottom of the laptop. These are brand new laptops from 2022 I believe. These are recycled material and the model is right down over here. It says Aspire Velo. AV15-52-77NH and in this video I'm going to take you on over how you can open it up and how you can increase the RAM on this one. The maximum RAM on this one you can go up to 24 gig. They do come with an 8 gig started on the board and another extra DIMM in order if you want to upgrade. You can add another 8 gig to have a 16 gig or you can add an additional 16 gigabyte stick plus the 8 gig on the board so you can have 24 gig. I'm going to take you on step by step how you can do that. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best kits out there. Here we're going to grab a Phillips number, I believe, number one. If you get the Pro set, they do include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself, yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So one of these, it's really handy to have. With these two on hand, we're going to get this started. First thing first, we're going to power off the laptop. We're going to flip it upside down and we're going to see a whole bunch of screws uh, available on the bottom. We're going to remove all the screws, keep the screws in one pile. They're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and start from one corner and remove them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out to do your own upgrades, and servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. So I'm going to fast forward this part. I'm going to remove all the screws. Alright, once we remove all the screws, now what we're going to do, we're going to grab the opening tool and we're going to start from the back corner in here. We're going to stick the guitar pick about one or two millimeters all the way in here, in the back. And we're going to rotate like that and we're going to hit that big click. That's what you want to hear. You want to do that every one or two centimeters and we're going to loosen up those clips. So go ahead and I'm sticking about one or two millimeters. I'm not sticking the whole thing inside. And once we hit those clips, we're going to do in this corner, on each corner, stick it right there. And like that. And do the same thing on this other side. And there we go. You can follow the same method to do on the sides. I'm gonna put it on the table. Just a little bit pinch. You wanna hear those clips. I don't usually do the front, I usually do the sides and the back. But if you want, you can do the front too. Because if you wanna do the front, it's easier. But, or you can just leave it, grab the top, back side, wiggle it around, lift it up, and it will loosen up the front end. The sounds that they come, they come from these tiny clips in here. Those are the ones that you loosen up. All right, we're going to put the bottom cover to one side. Down here, we're going to see the whole motherboard and everything else. And the RAM is right over there. And one more big thing, people are always saying, like, why don't you disconnect the battery to do the RAM upgrade? You do not need to remove the battery. To do any RAM or hard drive upgrade is absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are really paranoid and they do want to disconnect the battery, it's really simple. Remove the gaffer's tape or the cables. Put your fingers on the side of the jack and pull it straight backward. And that will disconnect the battery. To plug it back in, put it evenly inside of the jack. Evenly has to go in. And put the tape to hold the cables inside or don't put the tape. It does make no difference. All right. To remove the RAM, which is right over here, you all you need to do is to put your fingers on the side of the RAM and pull these two triggers away from each other, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. You want to grab it in the same 45 degree angle. You want to pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. You don't want to yank it upward towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to crack the tape on the RAM. So pull it out. These are, uh, these are TDR4 RAMs, uh, 3200 megahertz. You can grab a, a 16 gig stick and put it in here. The other eight gigs, this is an 
8 gigs. Yeah, the other 8 gig is soldered on the board on the other side of this motherboard. All right. Once you have the new RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. If you try to put it that way around, it will not go through because the notch don't match. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way inside the DIMM. Once you see the pins inside, you simply want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hear these triggers open and close and make a little click sound. Just like that. Once you hear those click, that means it's in place. If you don't put it straight in, you put a little offset where, like that, it's, if they stay open, they make a sound but they don't click back in because the triggers stay open. So that means the RAM is not in place. So all you have to do, open it up and put it straight down and the RAM is right in place. Again, if you have this connected to the battery, plug it back in. If you haven't, fair enough. Now, then the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, put it on top and squeeze it down and make sure you hear those click sounds. Those are the clips that are getting snapped back in their place. Put it right there. And the last thing would be to when you just remember when you power on the laptop, it might take to five to 10 or 15 seconds, depending on your BIOS to detect and to do a RAM check. So don't be, don't worry, just turn it on and wait five to 10 seconds, even up to 15 seconds for it to start posting. After that initial uh, post, then the rest is next time is going to be super fast. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, Feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws. I am actually going to power it on for those people that don't think like uh, it's dead pretty much. Because they always get paranoid that I don't power on and the laptop is dead. This is a brand new laptop. And let me just finish putting up the screws. Okay, yep. let's go ahead and power it on. I'm going to press F2 or F1, just tap on them. Acer logo from me, there we go. And I have the password. And there we have it, a 16 gig RAM, which is an 8 gig and a 4, 8 gig solder on the board. And that's it for today's video.